so let's try to understand the upcasting and downcasting okay so before you know actually going into the upcasting and downcasting first let's try to understand what is casting okay so basically casting is a way of converting one primitive data type into other data type either implicit or explicit okay so let's try to you know uh, let's try to see this with an example okay let's say i have one double variable d i'm assigning value as let's say 4.5 can we do something like this integer a equal to d is it possible in java no so how we can achieve this is you know you can typecast it to double uh, sorry typecast it to integer so that it will convert that double value into an integer what will be the impact of it the value assigned to an integer will be you know integer so it will not have that decimal digits that are present for this particular number so if you run this and if you see the output it is giving you 4 on the other hand uh, you know the same principle if you try to do it with the classes right it, it is a bit of a different behavior let's try to understand that as well okay so what i'll do i'll just delete this code okay now let's let's build some okay and 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 the upcasting and downcasting is the concept uh, you know that is widely used along with the method overriding okay so so you know let's let's try to understand that how we can do that okay so what i'll do i'll create one class called as person okay, and let's say that's uh, one method like let's say I'll, I'll create one method let's say print and let's test out i am a person i am person and let's say this class this is a parent class is extending another class called as student extends person and what it what this class this is the child class or a subclass of the person class I know overrides this uh, above meter. Okay. And here, what we will do, we'll override and we'll say instead of I'm a person, let's say I print out I am student. Okay. And let's have another class, class let's say employee. Okay extends person and let's again override the print method and let's this out and i'm an employee okay and let's have another method in this employee class let's say public void my org let's say Okay. And let's assault and let's say I am a freelancer. Okay, I'm just giving an example. Okay, so this is you know, so this is pretty plain inheritance in Java. We didn't done any fancy. Okay, so if you remember in Java, right, whenever you wanted to create a class, or object of any class. What generally we do is like we can do person e equal to new person right uh, meaning whatever the class name that we generally use on this side is the same on the second side okay but with uh, the inheritance right what you can do is I can create a reference object of a parent class and assign uh, sorry i can create a object of a child class and assign it to a parent variable 
okay so if you could see i had created one variable name with person p and assigning it an object of a student okay and if i call this right a print method on this what basically it does is it will you give you the print value of a, a student print method okay so basically what it what this person p is nothing but it's just a reference variable here uh, assigning the obj object of a child class over here okay so so basically this is an upcasting we are not we, the parent class holding the uh, parent class variable holding the child class object this is nothing but the upcasting and this happens by default you don't need to do anything java takes care of this okay now let's let's try to you know see more in um, this in bit of detail okay uh, so what we'll do I'll, I'll create one static method over here so that you will understand it in bit better way that person I'll, i'm just create one static method And what I'll do, I'll create, I'll pass a person okay, as a parameter to this particular method. Okay. And what I'll do uh, over here is let's say I'll call person dot print. Okay and let's do one thing call this method okay so uh, see what we are doing here we are passing an object of a student class and uh, so object of a student class assigned it to a person variable and passing it to a method called as get person so with this what it basically does is let's let if you try to execute this right what it will do it automatically identified you know which print method to be called on even though i passed it as a person it automatically identified the which method to be called okay from which class okay now instead of student let's make it a employee so if you run this again right so what it will do it automatically identified that i wanted to call a print method from the employee class even though i have you know variable of uh, parent or a person okay parent class okay so this is you know the uh, the casting okay uh, on the other hand you know so, so the problem with the upcasting is let, let's try to identify the problem of the upcasting. So with the upcasting, you will not be able to access any methods that are a part of a child class. For example, this my org is a method, right? The parent class is not aware of the person. In this case, the person is not aware of what my org method does because it's not there in the parent class itself. Okay. So in order to you know execute this methods, what you have to do is you have to you know downcast uh, the parent class object to a child. Okay. So how we can do that? Let's say uh, let's say employee. Okay. So employee e equals to you have to explicitly specifically specify that I wanted to convert it to employee and then you if you pass it over here as get person right and if you see that person dot so if you could pass this now still you know you will not be able to uh, do this so so let, let's try to do it other way uh, so i'll do the same thing over here i'll copy this code from here and paste it over here 
I'll just copy it over here. Okay. So what we are doing, we are type uh, sorry downcasting it to a employee. And now if I do e dot right, it will give you both methods my org print. And if I call those both methods over here it will give you the result that i am an employee and i am a freelancer so both values are printed okay so there is another problem you know with uh, downcasting as well okay so here i know these two with this my org method is in the employee class okay but if i change it to let's say student still you know the, the compiler or the doesn't complain to you it will it will still feel it's a good code to go ahead and you if you run it you will get a runtime exception saying that you know the cast student class cannot cannot be cast to an employee okay so how you can tackle this okay so in java you have a uh, you know uh, one one method which gives you uh, you know basically the, uh, the the instance of you know with it it will allow you to check the instance of uh, you know particular class okay so let's say if person is control space instance of employee then what we'll do we'll do the up sorry down casting okay otherwise what we will do we'll just do person dot print okay so you know this is this way you know safely avoid this particular exception now let's try to run this again so if you could see i have passed a student so this block doesn't got executed if i change it to employee and if you run it again okay so it has printed both the values and uh, two times right if you do if you see this right it has printed over here as well and it has printed over here as well and so that's how you know the different uh, different ways in which you can handle the upcasting and downcasting so i think this is uh, this is a you know bit of way i tried to explain how the upcasting and downcasting work